Hi, I'm Michael Weintraub. Welcome to my East Nashville studio. We're here on the set of our new Revealed Concert series. The purpose of this series is to promote my new book called Instrument Head Revealed. You're gonna see musicians who I've worked with over the years performing sets of music streamed live and direct for free to your homes and your computers. Some of you may remember my original book called Instrument Head. I published this book in 2015 on my own publishing company called Magnet Bound Press. And the whole idea is to tell the story of the musicians without seeing their face. I traveled around the country showing this work and one of the main things that many of the people who came to these events would say to me is, I wish I could see their face. Well, you're in luck. The pandemic has given me some time on my hands to go through this work and I've gone and pulled normal portraits of each of the musicians in this book. This new book will become a key to the original, all the same musicians in the same order, except you can see their face. It will be a sister book. We're going to be unmasking the instrument heads. We will be benefiting the New Orleans Musicians Clinic who help New Orleans musicians by sustaining their mind, body, and spirit. $3 of the sale of every one of these books will be given directly to the clinic. I hope that you can support. Please share to your friends and enjoy the show. Now here's Steve Poltz. What? What an honor it is to be at Instrument Head. This is the coolest place ever. Just to be standing on this hallowed stage where so much creation has taken place. I'm talking about the good kind of creation, the sinful kind of creation, the creation that gives you goosebumps and chicken skin all the way from your inner thigh up underneath your armpits into the center of your brain. The kind of place where people have cracked eggs open. People have created some of the best art here. And for me to be on this stage right now, I can only say one thing. You're about to watch a show starring me I don't know what you're about to hear or see The truth is I have no plan at all There's a good chance that off this stage I fall My body ain't quite what it used to be My hair ain't the color it once was My style icon is Emmy Lou Harris Mixed with a little Don Wood I lie on stage, I lie on songs, I lay my troubles down Hey, stick it out with me, kid, I mean, what else is there to do In this godforsaken, deep fried bacon town Yeah, you bought the tickets, you paid the cash, you got in the car, you moved your ass You got a friend or an awkward date to something you love that they're probably gonna hate Well, it's music, sweet music I'm emo, I'm screamo, I'm country and I'm folk Americana if you wanna I'm old fashioned but I'm woke I'm everything to everyone I'm Jesus and I'm Buddha too Don't panic, I'm organic I'm too scared to be satanic But mostly I'm just here to sing for you Well I've played a lot of shows across this world But tonight's the best I'll ever play I'm my G-string might snap in two My face might turn from red to white to blue But it's not because I'm dying, hey, I'm just patriotic Well, we all connect like Legos, yeah, we all are symbiotic I die on stage, I die in songs, I throw my troubles down Hey, stick it out with me, kid, I mean, what else is there to do? And this crap here making earthquakes shake in town yeah, you bought the tickets, you paid the cash, you got in the car, you moved your ass. You brought a friend or an awkward date to something you love that they're definitely gonna hate. It's music, sweet music. I'm emo, I'm screamo, I'm grateful, dead post-stroke. Americana, if you wanna, I'm old-fashioned, but I'm broke. I'm everything to everyone, I'm Jesus and I'm Buddha too, don't panic. I'm organic, I'm too scared to be satanic. But mostly I'm just here to sing for you. <laughs> well, I know what you're thinking, what the hell? This guy just wrote a whole entire song about himself. And the truth is, I do it all the time. Well, for me it's therapeutic and I hope that you don't mind. 
Well, I probably owe you money because you're my therapist. But I'm kind of like your escort away from all of this. I cry on stage, I cry on songs, I try to work it out. Hey, stick it out with me, kid. I mean, what else is there to do? And this hemp clothes making, tincture taking, sourdough baking, late day waking, spare change taking, traffic making, release the kraken. I must be mistaken, I'm in the wrong town. That's called Wrong Town. Man, what a crowd. 6,000 people crammed in here. Having to be quiet. Do you know what it sounds like when 6,000 people have to be quiet? The only thing I can compare it to is one time I was on the road and my booking agent calls me up and she goes, how would you like to open for sticks? And I was like, are you kidding me, sticks? Yes! I mean, I listened to sticks when I was in high school. I love sticks. And I'm a solo artist. They go, we want a solo artist open for sticks. So it was in this tertiary sea market called Jacksonville, Oregon, at a place called the Brit Pavilion. Brit is spelled B-R-I-T-T, in case you're keeping score out there, not to be confused with Brita water filters. They have nothing to do with each other. And they let the crowd in, and everybody's there to see sticks. And the guy comes out to introduce me, and he goes, hey! My name's James, I'm from the Morning Zoo. And everybody goes nuts because they know him, it's a classic rock station. He goes, are you guys excited to see Sticks? And everybody goes, yeah! He goes, they're gonna rock, yes! He goes, domo arigato! And the crowd goes, Mr. Robato! He goes, come sail away with who? And they go, with me! Come sail away with who? With me! I wanna be a wet, blue collar man! And then he goes, but first, please welcome Steve Poltz. And it was the sound of 6,000 people not clapping except for two girls who came to see me and they were wearing Steve Poltz t-shirts and they were clapping for me. And when I finished that show, man, I tried to win that crowd over and I said, I'll be at the merch booth selling CDs. And there was one guy there and the two girls wearing my t-shirt and the one guy had a fanny pack on and the best mullet in the world and one of those cool mustaches just like this, and he was drinking a Bud Light, and he goes, hey man, when you came out on stage, I hated you. And I go, thanks! And I felt like I was Robert Redford in the movie The Candidate, where the guy comes up and he hands him a beer and a hot dog and then punches him in the face. I was just waiting for him to punch me in the face. He goes, and then by your second song, I really hated you, and I go, Okay, and I was just like looking, is anybody else gonna come in line to buy a CD? Any other Sticks fans? And then he goes, but by your third song, my wife thought you were hot. And then I really hated you even more because she liked you. But by your fourth song, I went, this guy's pretty good. So I'm gonna buy a CD, could you sign it to my wife? And I was like, thanks, I think. <laughs> but. <laughs> Being here today is really cool because I've been friends with Michael Weintraub for years and if any of you out there know, he has a book called Instrument Head and he's going to be doing a second book. It's going to be coming out. It's called Instrument Head Revealed and uh, you're going to see people's faces because before when he took their pictures, he would take them like this and you would know by their iconic instrument. Like if there was one for me and it, it might, he might have done it with Smokey Joe's because everybody knows Smokey Joe was this guitar. And uh, so it might have been like this. I'd have stood there like this and gone. Or Smokey Joe, like this. And so what he did is he's doing another one where people are holding their instrument and they're revealed. And um, he gives a lot of the money, uh, goes to, uh, three bucks for every book sold goes to the uh, New Orleans Musicians Clinic. So it's really cool. He does good work. and. Uh, for me to be a part of this during this pandemic is just such a treat to be able to be here and, uh, and be one and the same with everybody else who's been here. And uh, during this pandemic, it has been trying for a lot of us. And uh, for me, my dad turned 90 and uh, I got to be with him a lot. I drove out to uh, California and I had lunch with him every other day. He lived in, in, a, in an assisted living facility, but he was in the independent part. So I was able to sneak him out my dad and two other 90-year-old ladies, and we'd go to lunch every other day. And as life goes on, as the pandemic went on, my dad got sick. He didn't get COVID, thank God, uh, but he passed away, and I was with him. 
and we lost my mom two years ago, so I don't have my mom and dad anymore. And I was thinking about my dad, and my dad would always cough and go, <coughs> and then he'd go, Bahutensy. Now, what does Bahutensy even mean? I don't know. And, but he would always say, Bahutensy. And so I would say it back to him. That was kind of our call. And so I think I should get t-shirts made that just say Bahutensy. And so I wrote this song the other day for my dad and for my mom. And this is called Conveyor Belt. We are all on a conveyor belt in a factory on a wheel of time. Yeah, we don't know when our card clocks out. It was yesterday we were in our prime. Big Mac, click, clack, don't even think about looking back. Kodak, soundtrack, I remember when my ma had a heart attack. We were all on the conveyor belt in the factory on the wheel of time. Yeah, we don't know heart clocks out it was yesterday we were in our prime tic tac tic tac toe hey i'm still looking for indian joe where the hell did my dad go maybe where the river and the rainbow flow yeah maybe where the river and the rainbow Yakety-yak, get the top of the tree My love's got a money-back guarantee I'm living now in Tennessee But I still scream Bootensy Hey, let's go join the Jubilee If I misbehave, you can kick my knee We'll blow a hole in our TV Don't let the sun go down on my mom and dad have gone to see We are all on the conveyor belt In a factory on the wheel of time Yeah, we don't know when our cart clock's out It was yesterday we were in our prime Seems like yesterday we were in our prime That one brings tears to my eyes. That's the coolest thing about songs and uh, writing songs is you never know how they're going to affect you because it's kind of like you're dealing with this uh, genie in a bottle and this weird energy in it. And when you write a song, all of a sudden, there it is. You can't touch it. You can't hold it, but you can hear it and you can feel it. And the energy that it brings is crazy. And that's what's so cool about songs and about also the way um, the weather changing. Like the other day I wrote this song because the weather was changing and I was thinking how beautiful it is in Nashville around springtime. So, so I wrote this. It's springtime. I'm with my cousin. We're going to see some baseball. The bees are buzzing I believe you should grab your best friend Meet us at the ballpark over by the hot dog stand I'll be your man We'll get a suntan Foul ball, bring a glove It's baseball season and I'm in love 
cousin's got a girlfriend, her name's Mary. Gonna bring a best friend, her name's Sherry. Got a bottle of wine, it tastes like cherry. Our first date, it sure is scary. First base. This isn't easy to do. It's like flying a plane and playing breakout, the old Atari game. Man, what's up with that um? I think that dude is a chump. Well, next week I'll get a couple passes. We'll bring that on past some glasses. For it's root, root, root for the homie. If they don't win, it's the same. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the. from Walla Walla. Woo! How happy are we that it's baseball season? Now I know we have been in a pandemic and everything, but the fact that we are gonna be coming out of this and everybody's gonna be able to hopefully hug each other again, maybe we'll never even shake hands with people anymore. Maybe it'll be like this. Hi, what's your name? Michael Weintraub? Michael Weintraub? Okay. My name is Steve Poltz. And then instead, rather than shake hands when we meet, we go like this. And we bow to each other just to show respect. Like you could come up to a bunch of Hell's Angels and they might be behind you in line and you're getting donuts and you're like, uh-oh, these Hell's Angels could be scary. And then you go like this. I'm sorry. Because you're from Canada, so you say sorry. So you go, I'm sorry, Mr. Hell's Angels. Would you guys like to go ahead of me? I'd hate to take up some time when you have valuable time to be working on your choppers. And then they would go like this. It's cool, bro. You get the donuts and we'll pay for them. Because if you bow to anybody, even Hell's Angels, they're like, Jump on our shoulders. We'll buy you the donuts. What do you want, a Boston cream? Why not? Boston cream's good. You gotta talk about Boston every once in a while anyways. <laughs> oh, man. So I got a new album that'll be coming out. I recorded with my friend Oliver Wood and John O'Ricks from the Wood Brothers. And the name of the record is Stardust and Satellites. And this is the title track. The record should be out probably, maybe in 2021, maybe 2022. So you're getting to hear it first here. And remember, if you're enjoying this show, don't just enjoy it, buy a book, support the project. Don't you wanna help people out? Don't you wanna do good things? How many times do you sit there on your couch eating Pringles and going, I'm feeling bad about myself. Well, let's start feeling good about ourselves. Buy one of these books, Instrument Head Revealed. Studies have actually shown that people who do buy the book and buy the follow-up actually live longer, healthier lives and also have better sex lives. So if you're into sex, I mean, it keeps the planet going. If you like making a little love, uh, buy the book. Watch what happens to your sex life. It's called Stardust and Satellites. Where's the heat when you need it? 
It's colder than it should be Maybe I removed Oh yeah, let me start that again Where's the heat When you need it It's colder than it should be I removed the AC From my window to sweat you out of me I was floating down my own path like a drunken butterfly put me back in my cocoon I want to sleep in off tonight Why not Is what I thought I could always Move again Stardust and satellites We're all made of moving parts broken hearts and we're all just floating where's a friend when you need one I'm older than I should be maybe I should have stayed in California Pretty much its own country I was dreaming down my own path Like a ragged raconteur Put me back in my old cell Where I know I'll get the cure Why not Is what I thought I can always Move again Stardust and satellites We're all made of moving parts And broken hearts and we're all just floating Take a page from a new book A shot of something pure Take a picture of a memory Chances are it's blurred <laughs> oh, Lordy. Is this ever fun, eh? Man. So that's called stardust and satellites. And a lot of times when you're traveling down the road and you're driving in your rental car, you find yourself in Kentucky and perhaps you're looking for a good shirt to buy at a thrift store because you 
spilled your milkshake on your shirt the night before, and you only travel with one guitar and one shirt, and you're losing your mind, you can't handle the truth. So you walk into that thrift store, and you're rummaging around in a holler in Kentucky, and three dudes come out, and they go like this. What are you doing in our house? And I go, what? I thought this was a thrift store. Because there's so much crap in your yard. No, this is where we live. And I was like, what? So there was a shirt I had to have. It was an old shirt. And I grabbed it and ran into the car and stole it from them. And they were chasing me down the road. But I couldn't help it. I needed that shirt. And sometimes people that are watching this out there, you people, what do you mean you people? What I mean is sometimes you have to steal shirts because you want them so bad. Maybe you don't have the money. It's okay. You can st steal one of Michael Weintraub's books even if you have to. It's okay to steal. Just remember that, kids. So I stole this shirt and I'm driving down the road. And these guys were chasing me. And I was like, I need help. Where's a hell's angel when you need one? And so I'm driving down the road and I get away. And I was like, I'm gonna name these three dudes the hand-me-down dudes. So as I was driving down the road, I wrote them a song. A song they'll never hear. This is good weed, man. And the song is called Hand-Me-Down Dudes. And it goes like this. You don't need an instrument for it. If you're watching the show out there, you don't need instruments to write songs. You can just write a song. I'm gonna write a song called The Hand-Me-Down Dudes and the song will just exist. It goes like this. She said the hand-me-down dudes was a coming in June. Fix a washing machine real soon. She said the hand-me-down dudes wasn't looking so hot, but the hand-me-down dudes was a high on pot. The hand-me-down dudes didn't have no direction. The hand-me-down dudes wasn't good at inspection. The livers were black and red and blue. The hand-me-down dudes didn't even have a clue. They rode on a bus wearing dresses and clogs. They ate pork and beans and cold hot dogs. They caused a little ruckus in the back of an alley. A mean old drunk called one of them Sally. They sliced him up like a piece of salami and propped him up like he was origami. The hand-me-down dudes didn't have no remorse. The teeth were filthy as the mouth of a horse. The hand-me-down dudes liked to give each other wedgies. They only ate meat and threw out all the veggies. The hand-me-down dudes liked huffing gas from a brown paper bag till they fell on their ass. The hand-me-down dudes was creepy and porny. They walked around looking hungry and horny. The hand-me-down dudes couldn't fix a carburetor. They left too long in the incubator. The people say their granny used to drop them on their heads, made them sleep in old wet beds. The hand-me-down dudes had tongues made of gristle. They couldn't form a sentence without making a whistle. <laughs> They spent a lot of time in their noses just picking. They never got sick, they could eat raw chicken. The hand-me-down dudes made crystal meth in a trailer in the bayou and they looked like death. They finally showed up to fix a washing machine. They couldn't even fix it, man, the part of the scene. But she don't mind, she was lonely as a dog, waiting for a master to come home through the fog. <laughs> The hand-me-down dudes I live in a basement, some sleep on the floor, and some in a big tent. Hand-me-down dudes got a lawyer from the Ozarks, they're back on the streets, and they're hungry as sharks. I heard there was a story in the New York Times with an interactive feature with the map of their crimes. The hand-me-down dudes are legends in the making. If you got what they want, it's theirs for the taking. The hand-me-down dudes. The hand-me-down dudes. The hand-me-down Well, that's that. <laughs> that's why sometimes you just make up songs wherever you're going, wherever you're driving. Maybe you drink a lot of caffeine. I know I sometimes do. And that's when sometimes the thoughts come into my head. But anyways, I want to thank Michael Weintraub for having me here. I'm going to end on this song. This is my last song. And remember, if you're enjoying this show, Please text the number to the screen to learn more. Have you ever heard that song? 
please text the number uh, on the screen to learn more. It's such a cool song. It's one of my favorite songs. When we were kids, we used to listen to it all the time. It went G, B flat, C, D. It was one of my best songs ever written. It went. Enjoying the show, please buy a book. Support this project, give it a look. Please text the number on the screen to learn more. It's from Red Reveal. Unmask the musicians in New Orleans. Musicians Clinic receives three bucks for every buck sold. Every buck sold. Three bucks goes from every buck sold to the New Orleans Musicians Clinic. Check out the new instrument head. Reveal book. We need a third instrument head. Reveal book. I don't want a holiday in the sun. I want to go to the New Bell Sun. I want to see some history. Now I got a reason about economy. Now I got a reason. Now I got a reason. Now I got a reason. The Berlin Wall. Thank you. It's on my heart. God, well, I'll record it. Okay, here's my last song. That was just like the song I used to listen to as a kid. All right, so. We've all got to calm down in this world. That's why I'd like to introduce you to my 90-minute meditation class. We're going to do a little breathing. Now, I know a lot of you got sick. Sick in the head, maybe, too. Because we were laid off from our work. This is what we do, man. We're nomads. We go play clubs. We play people's laundromats. And this is what I did during the pandemic. This is exactly what I did. This is called Quarantine Blues. I baked a hundred loaves of bread, I fell down on my head, I vacuumed till I sweated, ate food that I regretted, sat near the fire wearing questionable attire, I made a new incision to improve my circumcision, oh yeah. My hair's unruly and I learned to make tabbouleh, I felt kinda groovy, watched every single movie, No, I've been depressed and I never even got dressed, I was feeling full of pity so I joined a subcommittee, uh -huh. I learned the word abrogation, tried to find a new vocation, searched the whole skyscraper, trying to steal some toilet paper. Made a bong out of a peach, I learned to brush my teeth with bleach. Prayed for a vaccine, I learned about hydroxychloroquine, yeah. I was sitting on the toilet trying to get some unemployment. I stayed in the bathroom for a meeting on Zoom, forgot I wasn't wearing pants. Did a little dance, I was jiggling down below and everybody got a free show. I wore my sleeve on my heart, I found a new body part I learned about the zinc sulfate and how to meditate I was naked in a cape, I tried to do some manscape Lost a little bit of blood, but I still felt like a stud, uh -huh. I high-fived a little kid, I thought I got COVID Listened to Jerry Garcia, made my own tortillas Found a new cake mix, I checked my body for ticks Got run over by a bus and a tornado almost killed us, so yeah I became unemployed, started getting paranoid. I was eating a burrito and got bit by a mosquito. Grew a garden full of cheer, I got cauliflower ear. I read all of Macbeth, I learned how to cook meth. I drew my curtain shut, started acting like a nut. I've been growing out my bubble, I've been living in a stubble. Everything was unbearable, started feeling terrible. Thought I should buy a gun, instead I got a man bun. I got to get some social distance to help with my existence Need some logical assistance to a path of least resistance Feeling undesirous and no one wants to hire us I learned every song by Miley Cyrus and all about coronavirus <laughs> I'm a midnight lurker, I'm a least essential worker You don't even have to ask, I'll use my undies for a mask You know I understand, I gotta wash my hands I might have worms, but I don't have demon sperms I got a stimulus check, but I feel like a wreck. I become a decent cook. I read every single book. I might blast off, but I cover my cough. My pants are getting baggy, and I'm looking kind of shaggy. Uh -huh. I'm a king of innuendo. I can make a big crescendo. You know, I cut my hair, but I just don't care. Maybe I should join the Navy. I should give myself a shavy. Accidentally got a COVID kiss. I think I need an exorcist. Hell! I don't really want a button, but I'm feeling like a shut-in. I'm a sweating in my body, looking kind of snotty. Need a nurse, I'm supposed to shove a Q-tip up my nose. I'm getting kind of grouchy. I'm in love with Dr. Fauci. Uh -huh. I guess that I can steal a tank or maybe go and rob a bank and watch my arteries hot till I get a pot. I don't need to wear shoes, gasoline snooze. I was born to lose. I got the quarantine balloon. Oh, help me, help me, help me. Hey, 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 man. Thank you. Steve Fultz, everybody. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you see, check out some more of our shows we have coming up in this Revealed Concert Series. Thank you.